Hi and welcome to the cryptography course. Now, first of all, let me welcome to the all of you community out there who are watching my videos and have posted some previous comments on my series and quite others. Now let's directly jump into our series, what this topic is, what is going to be about in this series and a lot more stuff and you can expect lots of maths from me as well. So first of all, let's talk about the course. Now before I jump and go out about the definitions of the cryptography and lots of such things, I would like to share uh, experience that would help us to understand one very major question that is why cryptography and InfoSec course. Now, first of all, the word InfoSec means here the information security. Now, before targeting my audience, I would like to skip with two kinds of people or two communities of the people in this course category. So the very two interested, interested people for which I'm not at all bothered and I would expect not to be in this series are the first which are not at all bothered about the information security or any kind of security stuff uh, should not actually be watching this course because this contains a lots and lots of security talks a lots of breakage of algorithms lots of designing of algorithm a lots of attacks and all such things the second types of people which are true computer professionals and by true computer professional means you are already a great designer of algorithm your algorithm might be used all over the world or you are a very famous cryptographer cryptanalyst who is working with some great organizations uh, trying to break some algorithms which are newly designed or trying to do some security and research stuff uh, by this community i don't mean those types of persons who are really not into the professional and very extensive category the persons for which i am interested in this entire course are first of all the university students who are having the cryptography in their course syllabus Although you will find a lots of people about the cryptography topic talking a lot onto the lectures and videos, you have got this cryptography in your semester exam or maybe such other exams, but you find that all of the peoples are just jargon, jargon and jargon. Uh, boring old lectures of one and a half hour or maybe two hour continuous talking and not just putting the things according to you. So. That is the first of all my target. The second target is the hackers. Now the hackers, I have divided them according to me, the two categories, the fractos and the fractos. The fractos are the freshers into the hacking community. They are trying to jump into this uh, a great uh, research line or great infosec education or such lines. They are just moving into that, but they don't know how to start the things even with the ABC to into it. The fact, second one is the practos, the practical guides. Uh, when I move into a lots of universities out there lecturing on information security, usually students ask me a very important question, sir, how to hack into the Facebook, how to hack into the Gmail account. These guys are really curious about the information security. Later on the phase, they try to learn the things by themselves or some video courses or some live courses going out their institution. They learn the things by doing the things, practicals once. This is really a good stuff, but think about yourself that you are a great hacker. You know uh, quite the things like hacking into the accounts, hacking into the applications, or maybe even some good ones like designing your own exploits and things. But hey, ask yourself a question. Do you know what is DES algorithm? How the function it works? Do you know about the MD5 algorithm? Do you know about these basic stuffs? Let's say you don't know about anything of that. So what's the point of being such a hacker who can actually know a couple of tools and can do work out into them, but don't know the basics of the cryptography and information security at such a great extent. So uh, my course is going to be target all about such thing. I hope I was pretty much clear about the basic targets of my course. And one more great news is out there. Feel free to share my videos of this course as much as you can on YouTube, on Twitter, on your Facebook account or your, on your blogs maybe. There will be no licensing issue on these courses. There will be no uh, pricing on this course as well. So I'll be dedicating all of my time to the community for the upgradation of the community. So without wasting any more time, let's jump and create some more cool videos so that you can learn a lot more about the cryptography, algorithms, and of course, lots of maths.
that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching